Hey gamers! Ever since I started hosting podcasts via Google Hangouts, a lot of people have been coming to me asking me if I can teach them how to set one up. So I thought I would put this together as a quick guide for anybody who's interested in hosting or participating in a Google Hangout so that you can do it all on your own. Google Hangouts is very quickly becoming one of the most popular mediums for group chat, podcasting and business e-meetings on the internet. So for a quick overview, what is Google Hangout? Google Hangouts is an audio, video and text chat tool that can connect up to 10 people in the one virtual online room from any location in the world that has an internet connection. It's a free service that's available to anybody that has a Google Plus account. Some of the benefits of Google Hangouts is that you can connect with people all over the globe, hold one-on-one -on -one meetings, host group meetings or podcasts, share your screen with other participants and record and save the conversation on your YouTube channel. So let's get started. Setting up your Google Hangout. To begin with, you will need a Google Plus account. If you don't want to have already, simply type in Google Plus in your browser and register your details. Now that you have your Google Plus account, it's time for you to ensure that you have the equipment that you need to participate in or host a Google Hangout. Now you'll need a PC, a tablet, or a smartphone. The majority of tablets and smartphones have microphone and camera built into them, so that's all you're going to need. If you are using a PC though, you will need a desktop camera and a microphone installed. Now for standard family calls, group chats or other social events, you don't need to invest in anything fancy. However, if you are holding important work meetings or hosting a podcast, it is important that you look into a decent quality microphone. Personally, I recommend the Blue Yeti. You don't have to have a camera if you do not wish. Google Hangouts will use your profile pic and display that instead of a live camera feed. The only essential item is the microphone. Now if you're planning on hosting the Google Hangout, you will also need an active YouTube account, which you can sign in via your Google Plus account. Now moving on to participating in a Google Hangout. Now, this is the really easy part. You simply need to wait for the host to send you a link, which is your invite. You simply launch that link and you are good to go. If the Google Hangout is being broadcast live, you will be able to tell by the word live displaying in the top right hand corner. Now for the trickier part, setting up and hosting your Hangout. To set up a Google Hangout, go to plus.google.com forward slash hangout forward slash on air. Then select create a Hangout. Now you can choose to give your Google Hangout a name and a description. And if you're planning on holding this online, I recommend you fill this information out now. The next option that you have is you can actually schedule the Google Hangout to start at a specific time in the future if you just want to get everything all set up now so it's ready to go later. If not, leave the selection on now. Now in the audience section, you will see that public is already pre-populated. If you would like anybody to be able to tune in and watch and listen to your Google Hangout, then leave this there. If you would like to have your conversation off air to publish at a later date, remove public. Add your attendees and now select share. You will now be prompted to add the names of the people who you want to have access to join your Hangout. Once the participants have joined, if you wish to record the conversation, you will need to select start broadcast. Now, once it's all over and done with, a copy will be saved to your YouTube channel. This can take up to 30 minutes for it to show up though, depending on how long your Hangout was. So if it's not there right away, don't stress. You have now just hosted and or recorded your first Google Hangout. Congratulations. If you have any further questions regarding the additional features that you can utilize, please don't hesitate to ask in the comment section below. Thanks guys.